It surely is going to be different inside Martin Stadium this season for game day. On top of no fans, there's going to be no band either, but all these things really haven't stopped Washington State from getting creative and making sure they put these iconic sounds together for the student athletes on game day. So they got the fans, they've got the band, and they're also involving Mayor of Pullman Glenn Johnson in the mix of getting all of these sounds together. And what we're about to show you and what you're going to hear mostly will come from those samples. Thinking about no fans in the stands uh, initially and how we can make this, you know, something that's really meaningful to our student athletes, um, that's something we've really taken to heart. If you were to like close your eyes and listen, how real do you think it feels? I would say well, from a scale of one to 10, I'd give it a heavy eight. Like I'm, I'm, I think it's pretty close. We have band recordings that our marching band was able to provide for us. For example, our third down Jaws is very interactive on the band side. Oh, yeah. You hear the song and you hear them cheering. When Max Borgie like breaks and has like a long run to a touchdown, we're allowed to hit a button that's going to, you know, have a crescendo of how a crowd would normally react to breaking free for a touchdown. Glenn's all in. Glenn will be at the game. Uh, he will be behind the mic. He will call the game as if there's 35,000 screaming fans here. And that's another Cougar first down. And just listening to it down in the stands, I was like, oh, man, it's, it feels like a football Saturday right now. Just hearing it just kind of got me excited. So uh, we're excited to be able to provide that for our student athletes. Will it be different? Yes, but will it have a familiar feel? 100%. On top of the neat sounds that you're going to hear, you're also going to see some cool visuals to go with it. The cardboard cutouts is something Washington State's doing to fill their stands with what fans are sending in of themselves, but also some celebrity cardboard cutouts as well of Cougar athletic greats like Clay Thompson, Gardner Minshew, I suspect Morgan Weaver is going to be in there. And then on top of that, the school is doing some interactive stuff with fans that you can do through your phone and through your computer to watch the raising of Old Crimson at the stadium and also for player intros. So they're trying to make it as interactive as possible to make it feel as much as they can to a regular home game. Obviously, it's not going to be the same, but doing their best for certain. That's all for sports.